This video shows how to replace the throttle control cable on a John Deere 6620 combine. This combine is new to us and has been used a lot. On the second day of combining some brown top millet, we began having trouble getting the throttle lever to increase the engine RPM. By having someone move the lever in the cab, and looking at the throttle shaft, it was apparent something was wrong with the cable or its attachments. Knowing replacing the throttle cable would require ordering parts, we finished the field by tying some hay string and a bungee cord to the throttle lever on the injection pump. And then running the string around the mirror on the right side and back into the cab. When we did the repair and removed the throttle cable, we found an area of the covering had been worn through. With a closer look, you can see it as a push-pull cable, the moving part being a solid rod, red arrow. The smaller metal wires are frayed parts of the covering. This diagram shows how the throttle lever in the cab connects to the lever on the injection pump in the engine compartment. So you will work in those two areas. The red line is the throttle control cable. In the cab it is connected with a yoke to the throttle lever and the covering is fastened to a support bracket with a nut. The end in the engine compartment attaches with a yoke to a swivel that connects to the solid throttle shaft, magenta line. Also on this end, the cover is anchored to a support bracket with a nut. To start, it is worth checking the attachments and movement of the cable in the engine compartment. To see things, the two fuel filters on the back side of the engine must be removed. When these are removed, you can see the throttle cable attaching to the swivel that moves the throttle shaft. You can also see the throttle cable bolted to the support bracket. If everything is attached properly and the swivel doesn't move, the problem is likely the cable. It is best to start removing the cable from the end in the cab. First, remove the console cover. Engaging the separator control lever will give better access. The knobs on the gear shift, throttle lever, and cylinder speed lever unscrew. The real pickup speed control knob is attached with two Allen screws. Use a 564 Allen wrench. There are three screws on the side of the console and one in front and one on back. The seat and sheet metal panel beneath it must also be removed. There are three attachments of the cable in the cab to remove. The first is a pin attaching the yoke of the cable to the lever. In our case, the pin was badly rusted to the yoke, so a hacksaw was used to cut the pin. Next, the cable is bolted to a support bracket attached to the bottom of the throttle lever cradle. The cradle can be lifted out of the console, but first the nut on the bolt of the fan lever is removed to gain clearance. An 11 16 inch wrench is used to loosen the nut. And the third attachment of the cable is a hold down bracket. You will see the bracket by looking down in the back section of the console. A bolt holds the bracket to a cross member. A socket with a 24 inch extension will reach the nut. You can reach through where the seat panel was removed to hold the head of the bolt beneath the cross member. In our case, we were able to loosen the nut but not completely remove it. A Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel was used to cut vertically, splitting the nut in half. Now, there are two attachments in the engine compartment. The yoke attaches to the swivel with a pin, and a nut fastens the cable to a support bracket. We found it easiest to first remove the swivel. This also made it easier to clean the threads on the throttle shaft adjustment. 
when loosening the nut on the support bracket, a crow's foot wrench with an extension worked well. Once the attachments are removed, tie a string to the end of the cable in the engine compartment and pull the cable out through the cab. The string will be used to pull the new cable into place. Remove the yokes from the old cable. These can be reused on the new one. Although ours were badly rusted, they cleaned up fine. Here are the part numbers for the cable, yokes if you need them, and pins. The cable is available from many aftermarket suppliers. To get the cable ready to install, put on the two yokes and pre-place the support bracket. Now the new cable can be installed. Attach the string and pull the cable into place. In the cab, install the new cable on the support bracket and throttle lever, then bolt down the hold down bracket. Then in the engine compartment, bolt the cable to the support bracket and attach the yoke to the swivel and bolt the swivel back to the block. Some adjustments may be needed. Check to make sure there is full range of the throttle lever in the cab the swivel in the engine compartment, and on the injection pump, the lever can be firmly pressed against the adjustment bolt. Now the fuel filters can be reinstalled, bled, and the engine RPMs checked. Check the maximum RPM with full throttle and the feeder house and separator running. It should be 2,340 RPM and can be adjusted with the idle adjustment screw. The slow idle speed on the turbo diesel should be 1200 RPM and can be adjusted by turning this screw out to decrease the RPM. We have used this combine for various grains and have been quite happy with it.